Panaw't opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. To our fellow H&I members and everyone, here now is Miyorashi Perata against COVID-19. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even changed lives. We pray to guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they minister to the sick with confidence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. We may be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives, lives and reigns with, with you in the unity of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, one God, one God forever, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to the protection of Holy Mother of God. Do not despise the petitioners. Deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, out of the sick, pray for us. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, our Kani, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Luis, pray for us. Saint Pedro Caluso, Pray for Pray us. For us. So, fellow H&I members and everyone, 
Here now is the prayer for the protection for hands and crucial needs. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue, the repentant success of the organization, hands and inclusion in the leaders. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from all sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the death. Keep us in putting that first whatever is the religion of their party, including the Father, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor who do also love it. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his court team, to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands inclusion in between us to repent from the sins we are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong times. In your eyes, the organization. Yes, the organization did. This we ask in your, name. Ask in your Amen. name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the saint, pray, for, pray us. for us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Rock, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for, pray for us. us. Saint Claire of Montefalco. Pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint John the Baptist, pray, pray for, for us. us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede, intercede for, for us. us. Saint Monica, pray for us pray and for our us family and, and friends. Family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray, pray for, for us and our family and, and friends. friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Trinity, Pope Saint Peter the Dead, and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the hearts of everyone. All organizations, all the people who finally work with the organization who make terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in him. Okay, please don't mind kung may malunig kayong noises because I don't have a soundproof room yet. But today is January 12th, 2021. And we are back in another episode of Open Arms. I managed to finish this presentation at a time now. I don't have any creative thing going on. Parang... Grabe yung block na nararamdaman ko. It's more like a creativity block. I I, I had this these thoughts na gusto ko muna ipahinga sa lady ko from all of these social media especially. But I still managed to finish this. 
and that's also why I am not that active in uploading anything on my own channel, even though I did promise my followers that I would post new content as much as possible. It's because meron talaga akong creative block. It's been my struggle for years, so there's this um, limited run free sign-up training that I resorted to thanks to one of my cousins who are so supportive of me. But before that, let's recall that exactly a year ago today, at 1 p.m. January 12th, 2020, the Al Volcano, the second most active volcano in the Philippines, erupted, spewing ash of up to 14 kilometers high. At umabot ang ash falls sa Calabarzon, Metro Manila, and parts of Southern Luzon. Kaya dahil dito, the eruption forced the cancellation of work, school, and flights. According to reports from several media accounts, damage to property and the economy would run by the billions of pesos. So ganun ka tindi, umabot pa nga sa amin yung ash fall. And we had to wear face masks yung disposable. But way, way before we resorted to the more washable type of face masks. When the, pan when the pandemic happened, just a couple of months bef after this, nagkaroon nga ng lockdown. So, yun, naging norm na namin na magsot na face mask. But the start of the last year was just a prelude sa pamagitan ng itong ash fall. That was the first time during 2020 na nagsot din tayo ng face masks. And this is a quote na related sa ating topic for today. And that's the thing about people who mean everything they say. They think everyone else does too. From Khalid, Khaled or Khalid Hosini, the kite runner. Yan ang tungkol sa mga taong may kahulugan lahat ng mga sinasabi nila. Akala nila ganun din daw ang ginagawa ng lahat. So what is our main topic for this episode? It's something that I find personal din na sana ma-apply ko rin on my own para sa situations that I find myself into. But before that, let's first watch these commercials. <laughs> So, our topic for today is how to be less gullible because ako mismo gullible din. <laughs> Masyado ako nagtitiwala with anyone that I come across. So, as we start this discussion, there's a fine line between a healthy level of trust and trusting too much yung masyado ka na nagtitiwala. Overtrusting or yung sobrang pagtitiwala, ito ang key trait ng mga gullible people. Ganun na ganun ako. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have to confess how gullible I have always been. So let's 
share these easy tools that can help us be less gullible, according to Miss to Alyssa Yung. First, develop a healthy dose of skepticism. Hindi porket mabait ka, ay ibig sabihin mabait din ang lahat. It's important na magkaroon tayo ng realistic view of people. Dahil may mga tao na may ulterior motives sa pwede kang samantalahan. Pwede nilang samantalahan ng sarili mong pamilya. That's according to Annie Lynn. Now, who is this Annie Lynn? She is a certified life coach at New York Life Coaching in New York City. The common characteristic of gullible people is that they are often easily persuaded to believe others na walang proper proof. Kaya dapat bigyan ng pansin ang mga sinasabi ng tao or what they are asking you to do. This is what I have failed at several times already. So, if it doesn't feel right, trust your gut. Kailangan mo mag, kailangan magtiwala sa iyong gut. Make sure that your hunch is having that. No matter how much you want to believe, their intentions are good. Ganitong, ganitong ginagawa ng mga Matatawag nating trustworthy. Ah, sorry. Second is, patalasin ang utak. Sharpen your brain and develop common sense. Ang mga gullible na tao ay madalas na uncomfortable with uncertainty and they also have misplaced trust in authority figures, kagaya ng mga magulang or parents, the government, teachers, o minsan pati na rin ng media. What has to be done first ay ang pagpapatala sa critical thinking skills. Aside from that, we also have to develop more common sense. I know about this because I also did that before nung time na napapansin ko. I'm being too gullible. I couldn't say no to even the oddest requests. Mukha man tong mas mahirap kaysa inaakala. Why don't we try it? We can read we can read a wide range of books, hindi lang mga novels. We can mga health, self-help, mga ganyan. Regardless of the genre, you can watch different types of movies and TV shows. There are several of which you can select on Netflix if you do have a Netflix subscription. <laughs> and learn a new skill like sketching. You can learn cooking, pwede kang mag-aral, mag-bake, play instruments, or pwede ka rin magbalik loob sa Sudoku. Yes, Sudoku. <laughs> Ang mga ganito kasi, according to Lin, are good ways to learn and understand the complexity of human psychology. These will make us a more well-rounded person. Kapag ka meron tayong exposure to all types of people and situations na mula sa malayo-layo sa atin, mas magkakaroon tayo ng pagkakakilala when you encounter them in real life and we will know exactly how we can handle these people and situations ganyan na ganyan ng mapapala natin if we develop our common sense <laughs> sorry inulog ko lang ang upuan <laughs> to feel more comfortable ganito ayan Tan starin kasi background ng clip art. Learn from your mistakes. Hindi lang catchy phrase ang fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. It's actually an important tool to rein in your gullibility. We all start naman as a blank piece of paper and go through life na gumagawa ng mali and learning from them and through that 
we become wiser. Huwag naman tayong paulit-ulit na gumawa ng ganong pagkakamali. Opo. Lalo na if we have this um, goal to bring out the best version of ourselves, huwag na natin ulitin yung mga pagkakamali natin from the past. Learn from the books and the movies sa ang mga ganyan kayo na pinaka nakaka-relate. Oh? And you can also learn from the people around you. You can learn from your past mistakes but you don't have to commit them over and over again. Ika nga. This is what I have usually failed at. Pay attention to body language. One who tries to manipulate another gives it away in subtle body cues. This is what I always fail to do. Kahit na mabulaklak pong salita yan, hindi ko agad nilalaman through body language. This is a reminder for us to watch for inconsistencies kapag meron kang kinakausap na iba and look at their facial expressions. Alam na sa kanilang eyes and their mouth movements, pati sa noo. Body language and tone of voice. So, anong ibig sabihin ng ganito? How do we pay attention to body language? If they avoid eye contact, kumbaga, they don't see you ng, they don't see you straight, they don't look you in the eyes, or if they have shifty eyes, or if they look around dun sa kabila, dun sa kabila, hindi sila nakadirect ang tingin sa iyo, or seem a little too pushy, or Pinipilitan, pinipilit kang gawin ng ganito or ganyan. Or, ito ang pinaka-common kong na-experience. Mostly from people na hindi ko, nakiki, hindi ko pa nakita in person, if they get angry when you say no, the way I say no naman in this context is for good reasons, pero they cannot accept it. Kaya sila nagagalit sa ganun. Take a step back because they may have poor intentions. So be very, very careful, lalo na if you didn't see them in person. Maraming ganyan, lalo na sa internet. The fifth is to avoid gullibility hotspots. How do we avoid this? If there's anything that makes you vulnerable, nagaya ng a big fight, if you argued with your boss or your parents or your partner, a breakup, this is not uncommon. Pwede after your loved one just recovered from, from an illness or ikaw mismo, or even suffering the death of someone close to you. This can make you more prone to overtrusting. Kung sakaling naipit ka sa kahit aling mga instance na to, what you could do is to turn to supportive friends you know you can trust. This is a tip from Psychology's magazine. Don't let being gullible, get the better of you, lalo na kung may pinagdadaanan ka. You need a good support system from people whom you can trust and depend on the most. I know about this because when I just gone, with, and I just went through something really deep, kinak- may kinakausap lang ako sa sa Facebook Messenger or something. Especially yung mga naging former schoolmates ko or, few, or hindi naman siguro workmates. They just gave me a sense of comfort and parang I still fit in. Parang they wouldn't take me for granted. I didn't really resort to people na alam kong sasamantalhin ang aking kahinaan. This is effective talaga para hindi ka maging gullible. 
if you know that you find yourself stuck sa ganyan, just tell anyone na pinaka-pinagkakatiwalaan mo talaga. Next is, keep track of how often you've pranked. This clip art, by the way, may or may not have anything to do with the uh, with the tip, yung magdalagay ka ng toothpaste sa Oreo. If you find that your friends are always pranking you, dahil ito sa pagiging pinakagalibol mo from the group. Ako ako yan, especially when I was in college. Although I do have to say no sa kanilang requests before. Hindi ko naman pinahalatang I'm half homebody, I'm half adventurous. <laughs> It's just that my parents are protective of me and worried about my safety. Kaya I try not to be as gullible as I can. Especially kung mga ganyan. Wala namang mali sa pagkakaroon sa isang harmless joke, but your oblivion could get you into a more serious situation where you've, you're taken advantage of. Kung sakaling pinagsasamantalahan ka na ng mga kaibigan mo for being naive or an easy target, let it roll off your back, but keep it in the back of your mind because it will help you rem- remain more aware when it counts. Kung baga... Kung pinagsasamantalaan ka na because of your naivete and you're being gullible, you may just not mind it, but kailangan mo yung alalahanin because in case may ipit ka sa ganito, mas malalaman mo na kung ano ang gagawin. I didn't really do something like that, but rather more involuntarily. Or gumagawa lang ako ng dahilan why I couldn't do this, why I couldn't go with them, ganun. In fact, they did understand naman. And thank God we are all okay with each other now. We are friends again. Though we don't regularly, we don't communicate as much. Dahil nga, we have a busy career. We, we are too busy with our careers. Yung iba, entrepreneurs. Binabalance ang pagiging parents. Ganon. Next is to look out for shady deals. Lalo na kapag may mga nagtatanggap, may mga natatanggap kayong message about you want this amount of money from blah, 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 blah. It is really too good to be true. Gullible people might find themselves victims of email scams or buying miracle products. Yes. Sino naka-experience na bumili ng pampa dahil sa nakita sa TV shopping, sa Shopee, Lazada, any other online shopping sites, or kahit sa Facebook? I tried that. Lalo na yung sa clay mask which in my opinion did not really work for me so the next time na may ganito kayong nadatnan have the nerve to question things muna instead of simply trusting the source or taking what it says at face value kailangan mong ting- isipin sa sarili mo Is this product worth the purchase? Hindi ba masasayang ang kwarta ko when I buy this slimming product, slimming tea, clay mask, anti-acne, or pampakapal ng buhok? Baka reverse effect pa kasi ang mangyari sa atin eh. There are way too many stories of people na... Kung, an- kung anong nangyari sa kanilang itsura just because of buying such products. Or pwede rin ma-email scam sila. Like they having to pay this amount of money sa scammer or ganyan. We have to avoid that. 
Kaya, importante din to trust your instincts. Why should we trust our instincts? Because there is not a one-size-fits-all kung trust na ang pag-uusapan. Kaya dapat bigyan ng pansin sa ating nararamdaman around different people kahit sa mga mahal pa natin sa buhay. Hmm. Don't ignore those feelings if something feels a little strange. Kung meron ka nang nararamdamang duda, wag mo nang baliwalain ang iyong instinct. You have to tell them, you have to know na may mali. You can't always say yes and give in to what they might want. Lalo na if it's something na punong-puno ng duda. So, ganyan. You should also take a pause. Kung ayaw mo namang mag-conclude agad and magmadali sa paggawa ng decision. If you hit the pause button... Take time to reflect and really think about what's in front of you. Magkakaroon ka ng time na pag-isipan kung yung mga pwedeng mangyari at yung mga nakikita mo sa harapan mo. Huwag daw tayong gumawa ng decision na nakakabase lang sa opinion ng isang tao. No, no, no. And whatever immediate reaction we have, it should be separated from the final decision. So before you decide to travel, for example, sa favorite mong lugar, think about, think about the risks, the safety risks. Dalo na sa sitwasyon ngayon na mag-implement pa lang yung iba't ibang lugar ng mga bakuna. Ewan ko lang sa amin in our place, to be exact. Anyway, if you feel na hindi ka pa panatag na bumiyahe, kahit sa around the country lang ha, kahit sa mga MGCQ areas lang, you can have time to think of it. You can always refuse to do something. Lalo na kung alam mong it's for the better of you. Kaya we don't always have to give in to this or that. Especially sa mga times na kailangan nating isipin the best of ourselves or our health, anything like that. That's how we should hit the pause button. Ano ba? Why is it? Why does it hang? Why does it hang? Ayan. So, I click the escape button and it minimized to the main, to this window. Because my PowerPoint presentation lagged. Mabagal na kasi laptop ko and I, I feel like I should now look for a new one. But our last tip that I'm already gonna discuss is know what you look for. Manipulators think they're good at what they do. But you can always pick up clues if you know what you look for. Kailangan mong tingnan kung merong large emphasis on money, smooth talkers who know just what to say, and people who push. Hmm... For me, that this is all too familiar. I had dealt with that no on college pa. But there but for some reason, yung aki instinct never failed me. Just because I heard about money talks. Kumbaga, there is this promise na may kasama mabulaklak na salita na you will earn this much. 
I was reluctant to resort to it. And siguro in a way, I'm thankful that I was. <laughs> because these are all red flags. So somehow I got it right that I didn't let my own gullibility take the better of me. Dahil nalaman ko agad what to look for. This this is what I know uh, that hindi lang ako yung makaka gamit nito in the future. Kayo mga nanonood din. Hopefully. So before we proceed to how we can donate for our fellow men na nasa lanta ng mga bagyo, mga naapektuhan ng mga bagyo, let's now take a pause and have this commercial break in a few. Moving forward, kung paano tayo mag-donate for our fellow men affected by typhoons, Rolly and Ulysses victims? Ito ay sa pamamagitan ng Oplan, Rolly and Ulysses sa inkulihan. Any amount of donations para sa mga nasa lanta ng bagyo ay pwedeng-pwede na. How can we donate? You may do it through GCash sa pamamagitan ng number na to at saka sa mga nakikita nyo sa iba ba ng screen. It's 0908-638-8270. I will repeat, 0908-638-8270. So, yun nga. I'm just a little sorry for the glitch and hindi agad ako nag-react ng maayos. Hindi ko alam if if okay pa tong StreamYard ko. Nag, naghahang talaga siya and all. Let's see what's happening na. Ayan. I should be seeing my face properly. So... Before natin to tapos, eh, before we wrap up this uh, episode, gusto ko lang i-share na with these tips that I have shared with you sa mga nanonood po ng Open Arms, pinaka nakarelate ako sa know what to look for and keep track of how often you've cranked. For some reason kasi naaalala ko pa yung mga ganong experiences eh. So, in a way, malalaman ko rin na kung ba kung napagsasamantalhan na ba ako or hindi pa. If you have such experiences then you can freely comment down below kung paano nyo na gawang maging less gullible than you didn't think that you are. It will really help. Especially if you comment sa Facebook or sa YouTube channel that I will upload later on my own personal channel. Pati sa Hands in Inclusion Philippines channel. And I want to make this quick, quick, quick shout out muna to Krem Lefneg. 
I'm trying time to re- make this reaction video na Priyamis ko for him sa kanyang mga hip hop praise tracks. Maybe during or after the training na gagawin ko starting tonight. Wish me luck. And pati na rin kay Renz Delim. Thank you din for being one of the most trusted friends that I have. Salamat din for the tips and everything else. Pati mga fun facts and fast facts. Ganyan. Thank you for always being there for me. And sa mga batchmates ko sa PCU Batch 2015. Hello! I hope na mapanood din ito. And by the way, I am thankful na nanonood kayo and you're still continuing to support the Open Arms for Hands in Inclusion Philippines. So you may like our social media accounts. You may like Hands in Inclusion PH Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, HNI Philippines, and on Instagram, Hands in Inclusion PH. At sa mga active sa YouTube, subscribe to Hands in Inclusion Pilipinas on YouTube and hit the notification bell para wala kayong malampasang updates. And again, I'm just thankful na na explain ko to na maayos sa inyo. Wala na akong mga last minute, last minute compared to the last few because I got to push myself enough at this point na dapat mag-prepare na rin ako before I am gonna present this so that I don't ha- I didn't have the rush. So, na-apply ko yung salady ko na a little push can make you progress further or ganyan. I might apply this um, future presentations ko ng open arms. And by the way, salamat din pala sa panonood. And thank you. And I will see you next sa open arms. I hope I can present this more efficiently. Especially na mag the, the training that I will undergo by this week. This has been Billicent Makuse and here at Hands in Inclusion, we are God first and truth first. And we put God first. Have a great afternoon, everyone, and wish me luck at training. Thank <laughs> you.